pull-ups are one of the most effective exercises for developing the upper body. They train the latissimus dorsi, biceps and forearms, as well as arm strength and endurance. In this video, I'll tell you what will happen to your body if you do pull-ups every day for 90 days. So watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! Let's start with the benefits of pull-ups. Pull-ups strengthen muscles, including the latissimus dorsi, biceps, forearms, and shoulder muscles. Regular pull-ups will help strengthen these muscle groups, making them more resilient and stronger. Pull-ups improve your posture. This exercise promotes proper back and shoulder alignment, which can help improve your posture and reduce your risk of back pain. Pull-ups develop strength. Pull-ups require significant effort and strength in the upper body, gradually increasing the number of repetitions and variations of the exercise will help you develop upper body strength. Pull-ups increase endurance. Regular pull-ups help increase muscle endurance and the cardiovascular system. Pull-ups can help you burn extra calories and reduce fat, especially if they are included in the fat-burning routine. Pull-ups are a great way to increase your overall physical activity. They can serve as a bridge to a more active lifestyle. Pull-ups improve heart and lung health. Pull-ups also require good cardiovascular function and improve ventilation. Physical activity, including pull-ups, releases endorphins, which can boost your moods and energy levels and reduce stress and anxiety. What muscles do pull-ups work? During pull-ups, the main load falls on the muscles of the upper body. These are the latissimus dorsi, trapezius muscles, shoulders, and biceps. Also, during pull-ups, indirectly or depending on the grip and form of the exercise, the triceps, deltoid muscles, teres major muscles, brachioradialis muscles, and pectoralis major muscles work. How to do pull-ups correctly Before you start this exercise, prepare the muscles, tendons and joints of the upper body for the load. Jump up and grab the bar with a wide grip. The distance between the palms is 20 to 25 cm wider than the shoulders. Hang from the bar. To fully stretch your lats, imagine that your palms are nothing more than hooks from which your entire body hangs. Your arms are completely straight and relaxed, with only your forearms tense to provide a firm grip. This is the lowest point of the exercise. Take a deep breath and hold in your breath, tighten your lats and pull yourself up. During pull-ups, your elbows should always remain in the same place. Don't pull them towards the sides of your body. Pull yourself up until your chin is level with the bar or just above it. This is the top point. Exhale and smoothly lower down to the starting position. If you don't know how to do pull-ups, try hanging on a horizontal bar. This exercise will help you strengthen your grip, which is very important in pull-ups. Grab the horizontal bar with your hands shoulder width apart. Slightly tighten your shoulder blades and lower them down. Push your chest forwards. Hold this position until your grip loosens. Do 3 sets. Rest between sets 2-3 to three minutes. If you do pull-ups incorrectly, it can lead to curvature of the spine. Otherwise, such training has no restrictions on age and height. For example, people with scoliosis are allowed to hang on a horizontal bar. But if you have any disorders in the functions of the musculoskeletal system, you should consult with your doctor and exercise only under the supervision of a professional trainer. Pull-ups are strictly prohibited for people suffering from severe kyphosis, vertebral ischemia, lordosis, intervertebral hernia, osteochondrosis, arthritis, injuries to the back, elbow or shoulder joints. If you are diagnosed with second or third degree obesity, then you will have restrictions on the time and frequency of training. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now. See you soon!